Hello and good afternoon. This is Jana with John L. Scott Real Estate, your Renton uh, real estate agent. And today I want to talk to you in my uh, daily video about external, internal, or functional obsolescence. Um, a more generic term for these uh, things are um, also referred to as red flags. I have a red flag checklist that whether you're a buyer or a seller um, is a great uh, resource to review prior to uh, either buying or putting your home on the market for sale. And I'll put a link to that checklist in the description below. So with um, external, internal, or functional obsolescence or red flags, what we're really talking about are things that are either impossible or difficult to remedy. A great example of external obsolescence can be anything such as living near railroad tracks, um, living next to a neighbor that has maybe a lot of really loud, um, aggressive breed type dogs, um, or uh, it could be anything from maybe a steep driveway to living next to even like a school where um, there might be a lot of noise during certain hours of the day. Uh, those things cannot be fixed. Um, you can't control that the the school is next door. You can't control a neighbor's dogs unless you're in a, a community that regulates um, animals like that. So that's called external obsolescence. They cannot be fixed. They'll always have an impact on property and it just depends on how much. Now if you're a homeowner who lives next to external obsolescence, a great time to liquidate a property with external obsolescence is in a seller's market or the kind of market we have right now. And the reason for that is, is that buyer's choices are fewer and so they have to be willing to make compromises they might not be willing to make when there are more choices on the market. Consequently, as a buyer, you've got to be very, very careful when you're looking in a seller's market that you're making smart compromises and not taking on a property that's going to have issues that ultimately will be very difficult to remedy or hard to sell down the road in a different market. Um, if you're... Um, if you're buying a home, you want to make sure you're checking out external obsolescence so that you know you're, um, you know, look at my red flag checklist and that's going to help you make sure you're making smart compromises. And also work with a real estate agent that can help you identify the, the impact of those compromises. For example, I had somebody ask me the other night how important schools are in um, determining uh, a purchase for a home. And they're very important, but sometimes there's other factors. Maybe you want a shorter commute. And so like in the Seattle area, um, many home buyers have to make that decision all the time. Do they want a short commute or do they want to live where the schools are better? Um, because sometimes you can't have both. So um, depending on the compromises um, that you have to make and the, and the choices that other buyers have to make that can impact how much of a reduction in price you'll have to be looking at. So. That's external obsolescence. Let's talk a little bit about functional or internal obsolescence. And those are usually a little easier to fix, um, but, but sometimes maybe not. So one example of functional obsolescence that is now starting to, um, to, to show in the marketplace are formal dining rooms. And so what functional obsolescence is, is that something that might have been functional in a different time frame is now no longer really something that buyers value and formal dining rooms are absolutely at the top of that list. So if you're selling a home with a formal dining room, you might have a lot of buyers come back and just say that the floor plan's not right for them or that it's just, you know, not, they don't envision themselves in the home because many people are much more um, looking for a casual home, casual lifestyle, casual eating. So that's an example of uh, internal or functional obsolescence. And again, you know, you may not be able to fix that, but if you work with it correctly, maybe you can stage it properly. These are things an expert real estate agent can help you with, and I'm always happy to help. You can email me or you can text me or you can um, look me up on the web and shoot me your questions. I'm, I'm here for you. We're all in this together. And uh, I want to see you walk away or uh, walk away from a, a home sale with the most money possible or buy a home that's going to meet your needs for as long as possible. Have a great day and thanks for watching.